Hello everyone, welcome to this collection on GRE verbal ability. This is our lesson, second lesson on sentence completion. I am your presenter Bhuvi Jain and uh, you could follow me at the link given below. Now you must, uh, if you recall from the first lesson, you must bear in mind that amongst all the choices that you are given for filling in a sentence, there will be certain near good answers. Right? So, they are there to mislead you and to see to it that the child answers wrongly. The reason behind this is that they are trying to sift the best from the good. So, you have to select the one which is the most appropriate and closest in meaning to what is asked for. Now, you should not be phased by the kind of subjects that are touched upon in all the uh, fill in the blanks, they will be, they would be talking about humanities, science, literature, different students would find different things difficult, but do not get faced by all this, just be calm and read them carefully and you would be able to answer anything. From our last lesson, we understood that there are some trigger words that we need to recognize in every sentence fill in the blank that we see. So, you have to recognize if the flow is positive or against. So, you have to understand what the trigger word means and what the word that is being asked of you is, whether it is a positive or negative word and what is it being asked of you. And the lastly, what we had decided upon as a strategy, strategy was that if you are in doubt and you do not know what you have to write, then try to put your own word that fits in best and then try to find the word that suits that word. Okay? So, now from in continuation with the trigger positive words that we have already learnt, there are some other words like and as well as in addition to similarly, just as, just like, not just etcetera. So, for instance, if there is a statement like it was not just her diction which was perfect but also her speech that was. So, but also is continuing in the trend of her diction which was perfect. So, we are looking for a word which describes the speech positively and a word describing it such could be articulate. So, you look for a word like that. Now, amongst negative trigger words which take it in the other direction, although, despite, but, albeit, nevertheless, etc. I would uh, suggest that you take screenshots of these positive and negative words and keep looking at them from time to time. So, for example, if there is despite her beaming countenance, one could see that her eyes belied a certain. So, from despite we can make out that while she was smiling, her eyes were not smiling. So, we are looking for a negative sad word. So, maybe amongst the choices if there is a word like desp despondency then that is the word that we are looking at. Okay. Now, there are other miscellaneous triggers. Again, you take a screenshot of these and look at them for, because, since, unless, albeit, in addition, as well as. So, these are other miscellaneous ones and you can look at them at leisure. Now, let us take an example. We realized that Sophia was young and impressionable, but were nevertheless surprised at her dash. The choices are resolve, ingeniousness, decisiveness, naivet, obstinacy. What do we choose? So, now in the solution, we in our minds we think that okay, we have understood a couple of things about Sophia. One is that she is young and that she is easily led or suggestible. Okay? So, the trigger word is nevertheless however, which is another thing for however, surprised. So, it is also we are surprised that although she is young and easily led, she has a further negative quality which we were not expecting of her. So, amongst all these words that are given, let us look for that. So, resolve, resolve means firm determination, it is definitely not a negative quality. So, that is a no from me. Ingeniousness is cleverness or power of imagination. Again, that is a no, it is a positive sign. Then there is decisiveness, the ability to make quick decisions. Obviously, that is another no. Naivet, that is 
lack of sophistication, naive. It could be the answer we are looking at, it seems like an answer that we are looking at. Obstinacy, stubbornness, also a negative character. But let us put it in the sentence when we go back and see if it works with that. It appears that naivet works best with that sentence and we go with naivet. Again, I would suggest that you go back and forth in the video and try to understand how the word fits in. We go to another example, this time of colon, a colon and semicolon. So, this, this example is with semicolon. It is going to tell you the trend of how a semicolon affects a sentence. One of social sciences major themes is that of stability versus change, colon, semicolon. To what extent are individual personalities dash or different over time? So, the choices given are transient, maladjusted, static, disturbed, discrete. You can take a screenshot of this and check it out with the solution. Now, the theme in this statement seems to be one of stability versus change. The trigger is a semicolon which acts in the same direction. So, we have to think along the lines of the semicolon. So, stability is to dash what change is to different over time. So, change is the same as different. So, we have to look for stability and a word which means the same. So, we are looking for something that is same over time. Amongst all the five choices given, it is very clear that static is the clear winner here. We do not need to go into the meanings of the other words. To me, it is crystal clear that static is the word that we are looking for. So, this is how you can attempt at all these things. So, now to sum up what we have learnt in this section, you have to recognize triggers, various triggers and gauge the direction in which they are taking you. When there is no clear winner, you choose the one which is the closest by closing all the options, thinking of a word and then substituting it with one of the choices which looks the best. Thirdly, be very wary and watch out for traps. If a word looks so easy that it just fits in, it may, be, may not be the right word. So, be very clear that you have chosen the right word. Now, I would suggest that you take screenshots of the triggers crop them and save them somewhere and keep revisiting them from time to time whenever you are doing sentence completion. And I again come back to what I tell you every time, you have to practice and practice a hell of a lot. So, go on to the internet, make the internet your friend and look for examples and look for people who explain how they have arrived at a particular answer because that is more important than just getting an answer. So, I would suggest that you do all this while you wait for my next lesson. All the best till then.